So the question is what happens if one exceeds 60 degrees of timing in a motor. Uh, for example, the car that I'm going to be running, I'm going to be running at 47 degrees and then at one point I'm going to be running at 107 degrees compounded. So that's the 47, 40 boost and then uh, 20 turbo. So here is the regular run, 47 and that's run 1 and this is 107. And this is run 2 for 47, and I'm going to play back 107. So this is 107. So they look very similar. Now the timing reads just below uh, 45, but it's 47. And then here, boost, uh, 40 degrees. And I do have a video explaining what boost and turbo is, so go ahead and watch that if you have not. I would really appreciate it. Uh, but I'm just sending in the turbo. So turbo is going to kick in as soon as it's full throttle, which means it's going to kick in immediately. And then boost kicks in. I set it up for 6,000 RPM. So pretty soon. Uh, so now here is the video once again, full video, so you can watch it. And feel free to pause at any point and then try to clock it on your own. So that's the one with 107 degrees of timing. So I managed to get that run and then I managed to get a full run. So here is the full run. So it seems pretty quick. Uh, but then it just went into limp mode, so this is actually full throttle on the way back the entire time. So I wasn't really able to get more runs because every time it just kept going into limp mode. Now, if you go to different websites, for example, Tekken for their ESC, it's, that's still full throttle. Uh, they strongly recommend not exceeding 60 degrees of timing. Again, the previous video that I made, you would see why. So the time here is 3, uh, 3, 1, 3, 34. Now, this is what it said according to the GPS, but I'm not sure I trust this number, and I was not able to replicate this again. Uh, so I'm just going to replay the videos while I explain why. Uh, the reason why is, uh, that's the regular, this is the one with over 100 degrees of boost, and this is a regular run. Uh, if you pause them, sort of do the timing, they're very, very close. Now, I trust this uh, 331 because I usually get a 330 uh, with this car, the same exact setup. Uh, the other uh, 334, close enough. Uh, but the 284, that one seems a little too fast. And let's just say in theory, it is faster. You're only going to get maybe a run, and then it'll probably go in limp mode with this setup. Now, this happens to be a Hobbywing ESC. This is the uh, XR10 G2. Uh, maybe if you have a different ESC that's made for drag racing, you can get away with it. Maybe not. But keep in mind, Tekken explicitly says uh, on Tekken's website under the downloadable information for the uh, no prep drag software never to exceed 60 degrees uh, and one of the reasons why is you're almost a phase ahead so 107 degrees is very close to 120 every phase is 120 degrees how do I get 120 degrees 360 divided by 3 because there's three phases a b c so it'll fire a b and then b c and then c a uh, and it alternates current. That's how brushless motors work. Now, after 60 degrees, part of the motor actually wants to go back, but it's still going forward if we consider that a phase is 120 degrees and we're under that 120. Uh, so would I recommend going over 60 degrees? No, I would not. Why? Because my car kept going to limp mode, and those are pretty much the only good runs I got uh, with over 60 degrees of timing. I actually had to put the car back into blinky mode and then run it again, and it was fine. But before I went back into blinky mode, you know, turned off the car, everything, the car was acting weird. The fan was you know, uh, spooling up and then down. Uh, the car wasn't accelerating. It was just limping the entire time. Uh, so I tried replicating it, but then it would just limp, and then I would have to go back to blinky to run it. So long story short, I gave up. Is it possible? Maybe. But uh, these are the repeats. Based on what I'm seeing, 
I don't think it's worth risking uh, damaging electronics, ESC or motor. And although that 284 may sound like a very good number and appealing and some people may want to now increase the timing way over 60 degrees, the thing to keep in mind about the 280, the reason why I don't trust it and I think it should be a throw is for the following reason. Every time I would run in blinky mode, I would reset the GPS. Uh, so every single start, it always started fresh. So the 331, that was started at zero. The 334 uh, as well. But for the 284, I ran the car, as you see here. So this is a the same video. And then I brought the car back, and then I took it back out without resetting the GPS, which usually, for all the other runs, I always reset it, but this the one time I did not reset it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get another one because it kept going into uh, limp mode, such as now, where it's full throttle, and I already explained this. Well, that being said, don't exceed 60 degrees. Uh, if you have any tips and tricks, please post them. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was entertaining, or at least informative informative more than entertaining really uh, please subscribe if you have not and I'll catch you in the next one